Oh. You are now muted. <laughs> all right, then. Well, uh, hello, everyone. I hope uh, you're all enjoying uh, Emacs Conf. Uh, my name is Musa Al Hassi, and uh, I hope you're uh, excited to learn about uh, powering up uh, special blocks. Um, so let's let's first off uh, find out what these special blocks are and, and see what we can uh, go from. So uh, yesterday I saw a lot of uh, cool talks and uh, people were chatting about how do you, you know, how, how should you present? Should you do it this way or that way? And I thought maybe I should try a different way. Uh, but, but I'm talking about special blocks. And if I show you an Emacs, then I have to uh, export the HTML so you can see what it looks like or I export to a PDF so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so I ended up writing an org reveal. And uh, <laughs> uh, joyously, this, this just works. You, you, can, you can just see things here. Uh, I was worried that I'd have to take pictures and, and you, know, uh, uh, you know, insert pings. So that, that was a delight. OK. Uh, so special blocks are these things like uh, a center, small, quote. Uh, that's what a special block is. And with a bit of Lisp, we can we can make special blocks and link types, right? So uh, using a single interface, um, and that interface is going to be similar to one uh, many people are familiar with, in particular org babble's uh, 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 source uh, interface, uh, as well as using global header arguments for link types. And the idea is to write it once and, and generate many different kinds. Right? You, know, you write uh, an org markup, and you can have uh, HTML, you can have PDF, and, and joyously, uh, org reveal. So uh, that, was, uh, that was an unexpected delight. Um, so here is a, uh, a few that you'll, you'll just see as we, uh, in this presentation, you know, some, uh, uh, I won't show some of these uh, link only ones, but uh, we'll see a few of these other ones just to make the uh, presentation look nice. So the presentation is really going to present these blocks and the mechanism at the same time. Uh, so this no no HTML was written. Look, ma, no HTML, just pure org mode, and and you get all these beautiful boxes and things. Okay. So so the motivation for this is you know it, uh, you're you're online, you run into a blog, and you see something you like, and you're like, man, you know, I wish I could uh, uh, you know produce that. Um, uh, but you you check in the author wrote raw HTML, you know, hashtag plus HTML everywhere. And uh, that's that's you know gonna obscure your your real content. It's gonna be surrounded by all this uh, styling information. That's unfortunate. Uh, the author decides to use an org macro. All right, a bit better. Um, but then what if you decide, hey, I want to make a PDF? Uh, not not great. And then the worst of all, the author doesn't give you the source. And then you have to view page source. And, Learn cascading style sheets and 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 you know sit in a corner and cry and decide to do other things with your life. So uh, we want to give org users numerous styles and uh, and an extensible mechanism to add more of these aesthetically pleasing styles. You know to, to have really nice things uh, look one way in the uh, HTML and look almost the same way in the PDF and other uh, backends. And uh, if uh, by having these newer ones, you know, people might be encouraged to try uh, making new ones, especially when the interface is uh, not so difficult. Uh, that's the uh, that's the aim. Okay. Uh, so let's let's have a, a, a real story to, to motivate this even more. Um, so here's three friends. Uh, I hope I don't butcher their names, but these friends are called Amin, Sasha, and Corwin, and, and they're organizing a conference. Uh, Emacs. Conf 2020. Uh, so Sasha decides to write an org file, and and she would like some feedback. Okay, and and just to make it clear, there's no uh, <laughs> just how easy this looks. Let's look at the source for this uh, block. Uh, notice it's just the word green, then a colon, then a mean. Uh, so no uh, no uh, div style color it's just you know green colon I mean a very pleasant uh, uh, org markup so that's that's quite nice yeah. put some bold around it uh, not not too difficult so hopefully uh, this will be useful to other people as well so what kind of feedback uh, would uh, Sasha uh, expect to get um, so maybe she would expect top level remarks 
visible in the export. You know, when she makes an HTML, she can see right there a big block, right? Um, uh, maybe uh, Amin will suggest to Sasha, please replace this part with this other part, or replace this word with this other word, right? Um, this is not really possible with raw HTML or, or uh, yeah, or with even LaTeX, you, you'd have to have multiple arguments, the first argument and then the replacement argument, and it's a, it's a bit clunky. Um, but with our setup, you just write some text, write hashtag plus replace with, and then write more text, and you're good to go. Normal uh, org markup. Um, everyone speaks different languages. Maybe they want to use a, a one word, or, or so they're, they're arguing about whether we talk about frames or windows. Um, so maybe they want to have some translations, right? So there's different kinds of feedbacks. Uh, let's let's take an example. Uh, look, look at what they are. Okay. Uh, so uh, for example, Sasha might write uh, this uh, org mode right here, and and uh, and then in her HTML export, she might see this, and uh, her feedback might look uh, really nicely from Emin, who says, you know, let's uh, let's do some Lisp instead of uh, mathematics. Let's just do some Lisp. And and Corwin says, you know, let's let's not be so silly. Maybe let's just say 9 a.m. and and move on. Okay. Um, so Emil likes to export uh, to PDF, and, and so he writes his top level remarks using LaTeX. That's how. So to get this uh, square, I mean, please change whatever. Uh, he might write like this: hashtag, you know, plus LaTeX, hashtag plus LaTeX, right? Uh, but then. Uh, Sasha only exports to, P to HTML, uh, for example. Um, and uh, so she doesn't look at the PDF, and she may not see his top-level feedback you know, with those nice brackets and, and bold. right? And so she might think everything is good. Right? And, and that can be a bit uh, disastrous. Um, so maybe Sasha will, will then uh, make some of her own feedback. Right? Uh, but, uh, and to produce it, she might write HTML uh, uh, um, HTML commands, hashtag plus HTML to, to get that. Uh, but then Amin will uh, make a PDF, and these won't stick out. And, and so he might think everything's OK, even, even though it's not. Um, then Corwin actually decides, hey, uh, let me read the exported result. You know, and he's, there's all this feedback from two people who haven't uh, uh, read anything, because uh, maybe they were in a rush and, and didn't uh, uh, see the top level feedback. And so they agree, hey, let's have a uniform org interface that exports to both HTML and PDF, make, make both of us happy. Okay. So they decide to use org special blocks. Right? Um, and to set this up, they need to you know, maybe read a little bit of Lisp, uh, hooks, advice, macros, uh, to get all of this set up. And then they'll use org as the main interface. Okay. It's a lot of work, but, but it's worth it, right? Maybe. Um, but then Corwin, Corwin's a bit terse. So uh, Corwin maybe doesn't want to write uh, using blocks. He, he thinks they're overkill. And, and Sasha wants HTML, and, uh, and uh, Amin wants PDF, and, and Corwin wants org reveal. So now they have to reformat all their code. And, and they need to use org link types to, to reduce the overkill. All right? So they can try to avoid duplication by factoring things out into uh, self-contained uh, defined functions or defunds. Um, but now to set up org links, uh, we'll have uh, 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 to learn a new interface, org setup link, um, learn a little bit about fonts, follow links, exports, handles. Uh, it's, it's, it's so much. It's so much. But, but, but the, you know, the friends, they learn a lot. You know, they learn about defund, right? Uh, so these, these words are read. You get a little explanation. I think it's a bit too small for anyone to read. This is Lisp documentation. Right for defund, advice add. There's some list documentation. Right, they learn about destructuring lets. So this is from the dash library. There's all that you know glorious, glorious documentation with examples. So I, I like that. They they might make an ad hoc mechanism to simulate uh, arguments for special blocks. So something maybe called extract arguments. Right? And then of course to make new link types, they have to learn about org link set parameters, and, and uh, it's numerous uh, uh, bits and pieces, right? So let's, oh, let's uh, close all these ones down. And, and uh, of course, they also need to be uh, comfortable with 
uh, loops and maps and matching and, and string functions. So it's it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain. Um, uh, so it's probably not worth it. So maybe I'll just rush things quickly or, or do an ad hoc. And, you know, we have things to do. We have a life to get to. Right? So maybe maybe the squad wants to have a modular uh, uh, and unified interface. So everyone's uh, comfortable with defund to define a function. And they say, you know what? It would be nice if we could just you know define simultaneously both a block and a link type, right? And uh, that way we have a single interface, org mode for, for these things. And it would be nice if it was modular. So uh, if I defined a one kind of block and you defined another, we could compose them, right? And then get a, a you know a nice uh, bigger block like Lego. Right, that would be nice building box, okay? And uh, this is uh, what we uh, have come up with called def block, and it also has a a long uh, documentation string uh, containing examples and things, so that way it can try to be useful. Okay, um, so let's let's look at a, a, a solution to these friends uh, trilemma. All right, so here's here's a way to define a block. Um, it, it looks it's it doesn't look that difficult, but this is how they can. Uh, Define a block for um, uh, for uh, uh, their top level feedback, right? So let's let's look at the three main parts together. Uh, it, it's not that uh, uh, difficult, I hope. Uh, just six lines, and that's including a documentation string and, and you know uh, new lines and things. Okay. So in line one, we just define the block, just like you define a function. We define a block. The flaw, the block name is going to be called feedback. It has an author. Who, right? Uh, uh, the author has no default uh, value. It has a color, and the color has a default value of red. Okay, so just just as uh, when you define functions, they they uh, you know you start by uh, define or def block, then the name, uh, some uh, mandatory argument, and some optional arguments. Okay. Then the next stage is well a definition, a documentation. You know. Uh, the people who use this, which are future you or future me, you know, uh, might want to know what this is. All right, so let's get to document this. Uh, and uh, for for Corwin, who might want to use uh, tooltips, uh, when Corwin writes feedback, whatever, and in Emacs, they'll see a nice little tooltip, and the tooltip will have this uh, documentation string. All right, so that'll be nice. Okay, and then here's the third part. The last three lines are not not so difficult. If the backend is in, is HTML, if the backend is HTML, uh, please use this uh, template string. Otherwise, use the other string. Okay. And uh, for each of these uh, string markers, please put in the color, who wrote it, and then the contents of the special block or the link type. Okay. Um, so that's pretty neat. Not not, not so uh, difficult. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and uh, notice it's anaphoric. It, it, it's a uh, this this def block uh, gives you two new names. It gives you a name called uh, contents, and it gives you a name called backend, right? And so even if you're writing a def block and you intend it to be used only for links, uh, like uh, the uh, these colors, for example, uh, these colors were defined using def block, uh, and I used them as links right here. And you don't need to worry. Uh, where does the text come from in the link? You know, if I say red colon Bob. Uh, is it Bob? Or if I put a description, is it the description? So it's whatever is available will, will become uh, the value of contents. And if you're really you know interested and, and you want to do some intricate stuff, uh, uh, def block also gives you something called raw dash contents. If you really want to touch the raw uh, contents with all of the org markups still there. Okay. So let's. Uh, let's see how uh, everyone can uh, communicate amongst themselves using this new interface. Okay, so uh, uh, Sasha speculates, uh, and she, how does she speculate for her org in HTML? She might just write, "Hey, look at that! No, no, no HTML. Nice." And and uh, Amin wants to have some green, and so he just says, "Hey, here's some color green," and and uh, there you go. It looks almost the same, right? Uh, notice that. The main argument is right here. Def block took an author, and here's the author again. And now the optional argument, 
uses the uh, org uh, babel source interface. We just say colon and, and then a key and then uh, the argument. Quite quite nice. And and Corwin doesn't want to use blocks. It's a bit of an overkill and can just write a uh, a, a little um, a link type, right? So the main argument is now the uh, uh, the label of the link, right? And then the description of the link is the contents of uh, of the feedback. So that, that was quite nice. So it looks like uh, everyone uses the same interface on the left and, and can have varying uh, uh, outputs. And it looks, I think it looks quite nice. And I hope you do too. Um, and there's a few more. Maybe uh, as you saw in some previous ones, we had text side beside side, right? You know? Um, or we folded some regions away, so that was quite nice. We put some things in pretty boxes. Um, uh, we, ha we had some spoilers at the very beginning. Right? We, we uh, hit some text. Uh, we demoed uh, some text, right? You know, here's some org, and here's what it looks like. Um, and, and most importantly, uh, they, they compose, right? There's, uh, uh, there's a, uh, a macro called uh, uh, thread block, uh, uh, thread block, uh, thread block call, and it lets you thread uh, the contents through a number of blocks, treating them as if they were functions. And, and so, really, you can think of a block as a as a as a string valued function. So that's pretty neat, I, I think. And uh, uh, thank you for listening. And uh, I, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little uh, happy fun time with. Uh, with the uh, Emacs and friends, and uh, I'll I'm, I'll happy happily answer questions uh, right now. Um, so uh, someone says, why did you put optional arguments in a separate list rather than using a CL style argument lists? Um, uh, so that's a very good question, uh, and I will answer that by uh, uh, showing you a, a more involved definition of uh, feedback. So let's look at a um, a more involved one, uh, right uh, right here. So for example, this one is called rural mark, right? And uh, please let me know if my text is not sufficiently big. So here is here is why uh, we have two arguments. Def block takes two arguments uh, instead of one for for its argument list, right? So you you have def block. Then you have the name, right? Then you have the first uh, argument list and the second argument list. The first argument list uh, takes the takes the text right after the begin, right? The text right after the begin is the main argument, okay? And then the remaining key value pairs are in the second argument list, okay? Now the reason we have two is because uh, in order to streamline the interface to account for both uh, special blocks and org link types, uh, what we do is we say, hey, uh, in the first argument list, uh, you can give a name to the first argument, give it a default value, and anything else you provide will become uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, co uh, link uh, information. So for example, this link, we decided to make its face uh, angry red. Um, you might want to give other features to links. So we're trying to streamline the interface for both uh, special blocks and org link types. And we thought uh, this way was quite nice. Um, uh, so that, that was the main reason. Uh, someone asks. Uh, so if 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 you uh, if if that's uh, if you need if you have follow up, please ask. Uh, someone asks, do you intend to try to upstream this amazing work into org? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad you like it. Uh, I, I don't know how to upstream, but but I, I will look into it. And, and any advice or guidance would be uh, much appreciated. Um, uh, you know, Lisp is awesome. And just as uh, Diffon is a macro, def block is a macro. And then source blocks are, are awesome. And then now uh, uh, maybe we can have arguments and special blocks and, and motivate and encourage more people to uh, to uh, uh, learn Lisp. Right? And, uh, so. Uh, 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 another person asks, um, what is used to produce colorful boxes around the cursor? Uh, I, I'm not quite sure if you're asking, are you talking about my cursor right here? Or are you talking about in the slide? Um, uh, so this, this, this cursor is some uh, application called uh, uh, Stream Brush, 
that I had to purchase. Uh, unfortunately, I could not find a, a suitable free one. Um, and the blocks, uh, I can uh, demonstrate some Emacs list. I can open up my Emacs if people like, and we can try some things out. Happy to do that. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, someone asks, a uh, side question about org reveal. How do you get bespoke or multiple column layouts without using HTML? Ah, excellent question. That's what we do. That's that's what this uh, project is about. So it's not org reveal. It's it's our fancy parallel uh, uh, block. So we have this thing. You say begin parallel. You say how many columns you would like. Uh, do you want a bar or not? And then you write some text. And then you... Uh, you get some text and according with the bar or not, right? So that's that's how we achieve that uh, in our slides. So I'm not uh, I'm not quite sure where this was. Uh, somewhere here, I think. Uh, let me try to find this for you. I I, I can't seem to find where the uh, parallel blocks were. Apologies. Let's move on to the next question, I suppose. Uh, pretty sure they're here. Ah, there they are. Yes. So these these uh, were just instances of using uh, the parallel block, and, and it makes things parallel. So that's quite nice. Um, another person asks, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, excellent. Um, how does this relate to Pandoc, Pandoc, which is used for converting between markup formats? So all, all we're doing is, is we're, we're saying, hey, please write org, because org is just fantastic, and we love it, and it's the dream. And if you would like to view things in HTML or in org reveal or in PDF, that's up to the user. So here is a, um, oh, ah, made it too small now. So here is a, a, an example. So here's, an, uh, how, here's how Parallel is implemented. Uh, just as a quick example, uh, not too long. <laughs> uh, about half of the implementation is documentation. So uh, uh, hopefully that speaks for for how useful this this feature is. Uh, so we decide if there's a rule or not. Um, we look for the column break, and really here we're looking at the backend. If the backend is LaTeX, uh, please use this uh, incantation with uh, multi columns, mini pages, what have you. And if the backend is something else. Uh, please uh, do this uh, div and, and style and, and uh, other uh, uh, gibberish that uh, we don't really want to look at. Uh, so uh, when you, uh, Pandoc works from org, so it might not work directly. Uh, since our interface, uh, the way we, we set it up is when you try to export, uh, we hook in and we do a bunch of pre-processing. So this this uh, def block is a, is, a, is a string valued function. And so whenever we see these, um, uh, begin uh, parallel, uh, when you do an export, I, I tell Emacs, hold up. Look for those begin parallels, please. Oh, you found them? Grab that text. You grabbed it? Great. Now, please apply this person's uh, function onto that text and splice in the result. OK? So so when you export, uh, we're performing arbitrary computations on your uh, uh, on your text. <laughs> so. Uh, um, uh, some people might not find that comforting to, to have arbitrary uh, computations happening. So, so in this article, there's a few where uh, we change your text upon export, we, we translate it, we, we do other things to it. Um, so someone uh, says, uh, if you export to LaTeX to PDF, does that work well with Beamer as well? To create slides with columns, for example, uh, for for uh, um, so uh, actually, uh, uh, so uh, <laughs> I, I I made a bunch of these changes earlier this morning, and it just says LaTeX right here. Um, so if you want to go to Beamer, I think the backend for me Beamer is called well Beamer. So instead of a a, a P case, what we would do is we would say, oh, if it's a, a LaTeX or it's a Beamer, then uh, use this. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's not a LaTeX. It will simply default to this one, uh, which could be uh, dangerous for your needs. Um, I think it's a, a bad practice to put a uh, underscore, uh, but I did it really quickly because uh, I just wanted to show you that it works fine in uh, org reveal. Um, uh, contributions are more than welcome. I, I uh, uh, happily uh, uh, would love any assistance. Um, 
and and I have a, uh, uh, we have a, a Lisp a reference cheat sheet here to to learn a little bit about Lisp if you're not comfortable or, or to uh, ask some questions. Um, lots of helpful people. Um, so there's another question that says, uh, does typing in a block mess up with a syntax highlighting? Usually themes use a single color inside an example block, for example. Ah, you found my crutch. You found my crutch. Um, so I, I, <laughs> so there's uh, Emacs is, is all encompassing, and I'm not quite sure how fonts work or, or you know, I, I, I learned enough to get by. I learned enough to get by. So let me. Um, so here's here's how links work. They're uh, they're a bit complicated. This this is a bit scary. I don't recommend anyone uh, read it. Um, but uh, actually, let me open up an Emacs, and you can you can see what I see. Uh, so here's an Emacs. All right, let's make that a bit bigger. Uh, let's change this slightly. No, nope, that's worse. There you go. So here's here's some words. Um, so here's red, hello. Um, but you're worried about uh, preserving uh, 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 um, uh, fontification. So let's make an Emacs list block. All right, and let's say plus one, two. Ah, where's the fun? Hello, um, bye. Okay, where's the coloring? If we if we zoom in on this uh, on this begin source block, right? If we zoom in, you can see down here uh, we have our our coloring, right? When we zoom in, if we if we zoom out, ah, no coloring. Zoom in, coloring. Zoom out, ah, no coloring. Let's take off these bad boys. And oh look, my coloring's back. So um, in, in a previous uh, uh, iteration of the system, I was able to maintain coloring. Uh, in this new iteration, I, I am not. I, I don't know how to do it. I haven't uh, uh, had the time to to implement it. I spent a lot of time writing this 48-page uh, 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 documentation uh, with uh, with some fun examples to 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 try to help uh, people learn. Muted. So, but but I would appreciate any help or guidance on how to uh, maintain the fontification. I I really would like to keep those colors in. Um, um, Musa, we have time for maybe one more question, um, one or two more questions, and then we have to move on to the next talk. Um, but yeah, you are more than welcome to take continue taking the questions via IRC or the pad. Okay, thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, the final question we'll take is. Um, uh, should packages implement the interface to one specific format or attempt to be conclusive to all the potential output targets? I think you should just make them as you go and, and you know, add them as you need them. We'll make uh, GitHub requests or things. And uh, uh, we, can, we can share recipes in this uh, document and, and try to add other uh, uh, techniques. And, then, and we can uh, use these blocks as a uh, common uh, uh, interface for for exporting to, to PDF and, and other things. And uh, since someone asked, here is a um, here is uh, what a PDF looks like. This is the same PDF and uh, rendered. Uh, it just I made no effort to make it look good, uh, but it surprisingly does look good. So so uh, that was uh, that was nice. Um, that is a terrible magenta, but but that is life. Uh, anyhow, I, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this talk. I, I hope you will find. Um, uh, Def block uh, uh, useful to you. It is uh, available on Melba. Uh, uh, in a rush to make it available for Emacs Conf 2020, some some Melba uh, guidelines may not have been adhered to. Uh, please do not uh, hit me. Um, and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of uh, Emacs Conf uh, 2020. Uh, thank you.